Uh, we want to have a look at the bird, check its health, uh, measure the bird, get some data on, on the size, the plumage, things like that. But I guess most importantly we want to put some colour bands on, on the bird so we can identify the individual and then see where the birds from Karori are dispersing out to around New Zealand, whether they're going over to South Island or whether they're, they're staying within the sanctuary, uh, staying to breed or whether they're, they're heading off somewhere else and supplementing populations around the, the Wellington region. They've suffered hugely from habitat loss, from um, clearance of forest around the country, but they've, they've recently been found breeding in pine forests, but most commonly they'll breed in uh, tussock lands, in sort of low um, low intensity farmed areas in the hill country, for example around Marlborough, um, uh, but also in the bush, so in podocarp forest and, and beech forest. During the breeding season, once they've laid, they've started copulating, once they've, um, they've mated and they've decided where, where they want to nest, they start defending the nest. We actually find the nest by how intensively they're dive bombing. The harder they're dive bombing, the closer to your nest is, the more your head's hurting, you know, the, the closer you are to the nest. There's three forms of the New Zealand falcon, the bush, eastern and southern. And down in Otago, they're a lot bigger than these birds here. These birds here will be up to 500 grams, whereas down there they can be up to oh, um, 750 grams, uh, which is considerably larger, and when one of those hits you in the head, um, yeah, you know about it. Yeah. <laughs> they can draw draw quite a bit of blood. Yeah.